we got four points after the first two games. Uh, I, I wasn't even going to answer your question because you are such a weasel. It's not even funny. Next question. <laughs> Probably a couple bucks in the swear jar for Borchek, but as you watch him respond to the Philadelphia Inquirer's Mike Sealski, watch his teammate Travis Konechny's reaction. We're going to zoom in on his face. Mike, you're going to write f every time. No, so it doesn't matter what you say. Uh, yeah, it feels different. I mean, we got four points after the first two games. Uh, I, I wasn't even going to answer your question because you are such a weasel. It's not even funny. Next question. <laughs> Obviously, there's a backstory here. And Sealski thinks it goes back to an October 2019 <sighs> column that he wrote. Where? It's basically like children here because Voracek was called out by the Flyers head coach when they basically stumbled out of the gates. And Mike, the, the columnist, wrote about it. So yeah. Voracek is still mad about being called out about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's listen. Grudges are grudges like, are meant to I be. I feel like I'm nurturing. like connecting. He his reaction is sometimes my reaction that you often don't see on camera when you say some of your like great puns, brilliant puns. Thank you. It's about time you recognize that on television. This monstrous one-handed alley oop is amazing, but it's not even in the top five because we have plays that are better. We call them top plays. They're next. We made USAA insurance for this season and the veterans that never quit on their team. When being a fan gets tough and stretching your budget gets even tougher, our agents put in the time and legwork for you. So saving on auto insurance is easy. Because saving a little extra goes a long way. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. He's got the ball, looking downfield. He's going to have to hurdle the tiny trike. Look at him tiptoe free. Oh, what a spin move. This tad will not be denied is hearty meat and veg. Campbell's Chunky Soup that eats like a meal. Vault 24, keeping it real with Serena. You know you've made it when the whole world knows you by one name. This is Bolt 24 Antioxidant. It's lower in sugar and has vitamins A and C. You can just call it real. Bolt 24. If only there was a place nearby you could get one of these. Or these. Good thing they're sold literally everywhere business is done. I'm pretty sure you could buy them at a bank. Not sorry, Reese's. Take time to make time, baby. That's the fine life. No, no, no. Make time to take time. Either way, you'll find La Vida Mas Fina. <laughs> I want us to fit in. <laughs> this is the best talk show ever. Everything is possible, even the impossible. Mm. Cranky pated, a bad mood related to a sluggish gut. Miralax is different. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. For your gut and your mood will follow. We all have our own journey ahead of us, our own hopes and dreams. We'll pass many milestones, moments that define you and drive you to achieve even more. So celebrate everyone, because success isn't just about where you want to get to, it's also about how you get there. Cut on rehearsal. The all new 2021 Cadillac Escalade, never stop arriving. That lady T tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Have you? This chicken sandwich tastes like somebody's grandma Lucille fried it twice, prayed over it, then sent it up to God, and he swiped right. You won't really get it until you get it. Try it now for $3.99. Grab that chicken from Popeye's. You might like that Atkins frozen meals help you cut your carbs while enjoying the foods you love. But what you'll probably like best is that they taste every bit as good as they look. This is today's Atkins. Check out my new show debuting in the new year on ESPN Plus called Stephen A's World. The half hour show will have expert analysis, signature debate panels, and can't miss interviews. Yes! I'll be answering fan video questions. Yes! I'll be giving relationship advice. Yes! And I'll have weekly visits from the one and only baby Stephen A. Yes! 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 
Sign up now at ESPNplus.com. You are the center, the center of your family and their health. You know their needs best and should be in charge of your health care decisions. Community Health Plan of Washington listens to your needs and advocates for you. Our approach is unique. We work with community health centers and local organizations to provide resources for all aspects of a healthy life. You do a lot, but you are not alone. Community Health Plan of Washington, trusted health services centered around you. Brought to you by Marvel Studios' new original series, WandaVision. Now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. The reigning world champion Lakers welcome the New Orleans Pelicans. Voila for Zion, the finish. Williamson attacking again, rejected by Anthony Davis. Davis the lob from Caruso. James out of hand to foul. Zion smashes it down. LeBron one-handed stop. James knocks down the second three-pointer. The Lakers are going to go to 11-3, the best record in the NBA. Fun fact, perhaps not so fun for Zion, though, but he was blocked four times by the Lakers. He's been blocked 27 times this season, most by any player through 10 games ever. The Pelicans also lost 112-95 behind LeBron's 21. It's the fifth straight loss for New Orleans and a fifth straight win for the Lakers. Here's Dave McMenamin. After Lakers coach Frank Vogel called him the best shooter on the team earlier in the week, LeBron James went two for six from three in Friday's win over New Orleans. It caused his three-point percentage to dip ever so slightly, but he's still having the second-best three-point shooting season of his career at just over 38%. Does LeBron agree with his coach? If someone says bet, then obviously you guys know I'm going to take myself, he said. Anthony Davis ranked LeBron third behind Contavious Caldwell Pope and Wesley Matthews, and KCP, who moved up to number nine on the Lakers' all-time three-point list on Friday, said, numbers don't lie, endorsing himself, but added, I really enjoy Bron shooting the ball. He's knocking them down, but we all know I'm the real shooter. Well, the whole team might be the real shooter here because they've made 178 makes from three. It's a franchise record through the team's first 14 games. It's also on pace to break the three-point franchise single season record. So Asia Wilson is larger than life when she went to school at South Carolina, first national championship back in 2017. Now she's literally larger than life, 11 feet tall. That is a bronze statue, my friends, of the All-American. It was installed in Columbia this week in honor of the three-time SEC Player of the Year. It's the third statue on campus. I still think it would be weird to go back to your alma mater like uh, Tim Tebow does and see like a statue of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey guys, hey, oh, that, 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 that's me too. Top plays now. We're going to start with Sarah Schaefer. LSU and Arkansas, a little, little gymnastics, and that is not real. That's huge. It's a double pipe, and she stuck the landing. 9.9. What was wrong with that? Where's the deduction? I don't know. we got to get What's some What's wrong ups. with the Russian judge? Come on now. Number nine, Texas high school football state championship game. On the 22nd anniversary of Varsity Blues coming out. I don't want your life. Seth Hennigan to Michael Davis who stops on a dime. Looking like street in there. I Touchdown. I have not seen that movie in a really long time. 59-14. Adrian College, Denton Concordia Ryan. University. Kaylee Kitterex juking not one, but two defenders. And then, ooh, he's criminal. Adrian College won it. Ooh, it's a squeaker. 9-1. Bethesda against Grand Canyon University. Javon Blackshear, Jr. lobbing it up. Sean Miller Moore. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Oh, so GC, like a little bit. Little bit. GCU squeaker, 121 <laughs> Maple Leafs and Senators. Watch Zach Hyman. Like, he could be a two-sport athlete. If hockey doesn't work out for him, which it appears as though it is, he could maybe just play baseball. <laughs> Smacking it out of thin air for the goal. Leafs, though, didn't win the game. 5-3 uh, was the final. All right, college basketball, Louisiana, UT Arlington. Jordan Phillips getting to the rim with a quickness, and he goes all Wilson Phillips. 
is someday somebody is going to make you want to turn around and say goodbye. Bridesmaids, you, such a good movie. So good. Yeah. So good. The first thing that pops in my head. Presbyterian, Campbell, 1.7 seconds left. Watch Shy Tuli. Timing is everything. Sometimes mm. it's a good thing. Campbell won it, 62-61. That actually was a sweeper. It's never going to be me and you and your sister and Shy playing house up there. Uh, number three to the men's game. Same two teams. Ooh, Cedric Henderson, my word. We had some really good dunks in top plays. That's what I call top play. I get it. I get it. So I, Campbell wins. I realize that you can't really point your toes while wearing skates. But that's about the only thing that could make Andre Vasilevsky's save here like better. Like it's full split, blocking the shot, <laughs> like the flexibility, it's amazing. Lightning won it five two. There's right. been a lot of scoring in hockey. Charleston Southern, UNC, Asheville, Jaquavion, Florence. Oh my word! Jaquavion, Florence. Oh. It's Charleston Southern. They, they lose. He had a game high twenty one though. That was outstanding. More troops today. Not one, not two. How about six games for you? But it starts with this game, this matchup on ESPN and the ESPN app. It's it's uh, South Carolina, sorry, North Carolina and Florida State, and then you get Kentucky and Auburn. It all starts at noon Eastern. Just watch it all day on ESPN, both the TV and the app. You can continue to watch us right now. This is Sports Center AM. Giannis shines as the Mavs struggles in clutch time continue. Why Lucas says Dallas was just bad. And why the third time wasn't a charm for Zion against LeBron. Plus, it's Lamar Jackson v. Josh Allen in Buffalo. But why Ravens' bills may just come down to stopping the run game. You've got quarterback questions, at least in Green Bay. How Aaron Rodgers deals with the Rams' pressure and how concerned is L.A. about Jared Goff's injured thumb on SportsCenter AM. It's playoff football. You know, you, your mindset is, is dominate every single snap. Oh, yes, do it. The bench loves it. I wish I was Justin Timberlake in that movie where I could bank some time. Bad, bad teacher? He's obviously talking about trolls, uh, one and two. We're oh, probably caffeinated on a Saturday morning, our filmography suspect. Nicole Briscoe, Randy Scott, SportsCenter AM. Now, LeBron is going to shout out Justin Timberlake's acting career. Fine. We'll get we're, the movie right as We're well. starting with the drama in Milwaukee. Who would play Giannis in a movie? <laughs> what about Luca? Okay, because the Giannis movie is, yeah, that's, that's actually happening. Here's a thought on Luca. Yeah. Ethan Hawke, okay. but like maybe 20 years ago, so, Ethan Hawke. So it's like training day. Yes, Mavs and Bucks. First quarter, Mavs down seven. Not anymore. Negative five-point game. Doncic just splitting the... Get out of my way. Second quarter, Bucks up eight. Make it ten. It's Giannis fighting his way around Willie Colley Stein. Bucks led by eight at the break. It's close, though, in the fourth. Four minutes to play. Bucks up one. Giannis just creating some space. Sink into three. No big deal. He made two of those. He had a 31-point night. Bucks up four. 315 to play. Mavs down two. Doncic to James Johnson in the corner with the candlestick. 13 off the bench. Mavs up one. But the Bucks did answer, and they answered with Chris Middleton. And two threes. That's one of them. Bucks up one. So, 30 seconds to play. Mavs down two. Who's going to get the ball? Well, Doncic, only one for six from the three-point line with under a minute to play. Doncic to Trey Burke. That is a miss. Willie Cauley-Stein gets the offensive rebound, hands it back to Burke. Doncic, just, he's on the floor. He, de not, he didn't attempt a shot. He had 28 points, but not a shot in the final 30 seconds. Bucks win at 112-109. Dallas maybe needed Doncic to step up. He says he needed a timeout. Yeah. I don't know. It's called uh, it's called decision. So, but if we were to make the shot, everything would be good. So, uh, just uh, if we make the shot, everything would be different, you know. But I don't know. Uh, it's called just this decision to call a time. I don't know. So I think it's good. We play bad. Uh, I'm gonna say that. I think we play bad. Uh, uh, it wasn't our great, our good game. But you know, we hang up there. Uh, you know, we had a chance to go up in that situation. Uh, so I think we did some good things even on a bad night. The Mavericks struggling in close games isn't exactly a new thing because over the last two seasons, Dallas has lost 12 games by three or fewer points. That is the most in the NBA. They've also lost 27 clutch time games over the last two seasons. Now clutch time is when the score is within five in the final five minutes. And Dallas has lost the fifth most of those games in part because they don't hit threes. The Mavericks have the fourth worst three-point percentage in clutch time over the last two seasons in the last game. 
against the Bucks. The Mavs went one for five from beyond the arc in clutch time. All right, great matchup in that game. Great matchup in this one as well. Zion Williamson against LeBron James. LeBron's 2-0 head-to-head coming in. Matter of fact, he's dominated number one overall picks. The last 10 of them are just 17-48 and 48 against LeBron. But here goes Zion throwing down a lob from Josh Hart, former Lakers. Zion had 11.7 boards in the first half. More from him in a minute. Let's get to LeBron. The Lakers trailed by as many as 15 at one point, and they're down 11 here. LeBron getting Montrez Harrell involved. 16 off the bench for Harrell. LeBron sharing the basketball a little bit more in the first half. Only three, three field goal attempts, but he did have six assists. People helping people. Third quarter, Pelicans down two. So the Lakers have come all the way back. Here's the thing about Zion. That's a tremendous dunk. He's averaging 21.8 points per game through 10 games, the most in the last 25 seasons for someone who hasn't made a field goal outside the paint. LeBron's in the paint there, crashing. One of his eight rebounds and two of his 21 points. He finished two rebounds shy of a triple-double because the assist numbers were great. He had 11 of them. This one driving and, and finding Harrell as the Lakers trying to put this thing out of reach in the fourth quarter. They're up 17. And off the miss, Harrell's going to find LeBron. He's two of six from distance, and there's one of the two. Lakers won 12 to 95. The number that stands out, though, is LeBron having to play 31 minutes. And he talked about his workload after the Lakers' fifth straight win. No, man. I'm, I'm 36 years old, 18 years in the league. There ain't no safe something for later on in the season. Uh, you know, my body is ready to play whatever I need to play throughout the course of the game. Um, I go um, hard while I'm out there, and then I uh, start my treatment after the game. So uh, I wish I could bank time. You know, I wish uh, I wish I was Justin Timberlake um, in that movie where I could bank some time, but uh, I cannot do that at this point. Well, he's talking about that 2011 movie called In Time. Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. I was thinking of other Timberlake movies that were outstanding and he's been in that were great. I mean, he's not good and bad teacher, so he just well, maybe that's is, fine. but he's just really annoying. And Shawshank, tremendous. LeBron was productive with his wow. time on Friday. 14th straight game with 15 points, five rebounds and uh, five assists to start the season. I'm being told he wasn't in Shawshank. Well, <laughs> we'll figure that out. The only players in NBA history I thought I was the one going crazy. streaks to start a season are uh, Oscar Robertson, but he was in his early 20s and actually LeBron himself 10 seasons ago. How about some football? Not going to lie. My cheesy little heart's a little nervous for this one. Packers and Rams from Lambeau, 4.35 p.m. Eastern time. No snow in the forecast. And according to AccuWeather, a balmy 35, maybe 34 degrees at kick. The time is now, and the truth is out there. Good morning. Jeremy Fowler. Now we begin our mornings. The cheese head. (laughs) <laughs> is all like that sounds like perfect weather for the playoff game but the cheese head didn't just have surgery on my thumb on my throwing hand nor is the cheese head actually an nfl quarterback so how big of a concern is jared goff's thumb for the rams well good morning nicole and jared goff has no restrictions he is full go the only issue i'm told is coming off that thumb surgery there could be some sensitivity in the cold you mentioned the weather if it dips below freezing you could find jared goff going over to that big gas warmer on the sideline you can use those little packets that you shake up, uh, put on your thumb to warm them up. Keeping that warm throughout the game will be key for him to be able to throw the ball and explode. Uh, but otherwise, he is full systems go. In fact, I expect the Rams to take some deep shots with Jared Goff, try to keep that Packers defense honest, and let Goff feel comfortable again. Goff isn't exactly familiar with cold weather games. In fact, he's only played two games with freezing temperatures at kickoff, throwing five interceptions and no touchdowns, but technically it's expected to be north of 32 today at kick. There is a 40% chance of snow in the forecast in Buffalo for the Ravens-Bills game. Lamar Jackson has never played in the snow, and the Ravens defense is going to try to contain what's been the most prolific offense in the NFL over the last six seasons. It's going to be much easier if they have Marcus Peters. So what is his status for this game today? Well, I'm told he is expected to play. He's listed as questionable with a back injury, but I'm told he's good to go, that he would not miss this game for the world. The Ravens expect it. And, you know, the Bills know this is their top guy who's going to try to, you know, flood the lane for some interceptions. So they expect a very scrappy game. Peters was talking a lot to the Titans just a week ago. So it could be a little bit uh, of action there. But Peters, good to go. And both teams are very healthy. Now, with the coaches with the Buffalo Bills, is a little different because the Bills could lose both coordinators this offseason. Brian Dable on offense, Leslie Frazier on defense. Frazier is interviewing with the Houston Texans for their head coaching job on Sunday. Dable is believed by many around the league to be a favorite for the Chargers job. 
And so because of the offensive explosion the Bills have had, some players have talked privately like, hey, we got to keep winning these games so we can keep Dayball on our sideline, not somebody else's. Keep him on our sideline as long as we possibly can. We are down to four, Chargers, Texans, Eagles, and Lions. Those are the teams that still do not yet have a head coach. Thank you, Mr. Fowler. All right, as for the team still playing, Baltimore's approach to stopping Josh Allen will be dissected. Plus, we're going to forecast that potentially playing in the snow could slow down Lamar Jackson. James Harden telling us his biggest regret about the fallout with Houston. What he's looking forward to the most with the Nets. That's ahead on SportsCenter AM. Bowl 24 keeping it real with Fernando Tatis Jr. Being a rule breaker is not cool. Yes, it is. <laughs> like Bolt 24 Energize. It's slower in sugar and it has caffeine. Writing its own rules. All right, all right. Um, Bolt 24. Who is USAA made for? It's made for him, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. Become a member. Get an insurance quote today. Virginia and Maryland, do we file taxes in each state? With large catches in both? Yes. I'll even file for you. Thank you. File with the help of an expert, or let an expert file for you. Intuit TurboTax Live. Get ready for war! Game on. Bang. I've been feeling a certain degree of hostility. Worth it. Up is his French onion dip. I'm going to start the bidding at five dollars. Thank you, sir. Six dollars over there. Going once, going twice. Sold. Don't get mad. Get E Trade and get more than just trading. Investing, banking, guidance. Popeyes ripping chicken big box is a big meal for a big deal with a handcrafted rippable chicken breast, perfect for dipping. Two mouth-watering sides of your choice, a golden flaky buttermilk biscuit, and a signature sauce. Get all this for just six bucks. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Shout out to the inventors who took an old way and made it better. Like Stephanie from CarMax. She suggested test drive should last 24 hours. Because sometimes the way it is isn't good enough. The way it should be. CarMax. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now, there's Sky Rizzy. Things are getting clearer. Yeah, I feel free. Spare my skin. Yeah, that's on me. Nothing in me go hand in hand. Nothing on my skin. That's my new plan. Keep your skin clearer with Sky Rizzy. With Sky Rizzy, three out of four people achieve 90% clearer skin at four months. Ready and not. Gillette Pro Glide and Pro Glide Gel. Five blades. Blades in a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you're ready for the day with a clean shave and a clean face. Who is USAA made for? It's made for him, a veteran who honorably served. And it's made for her. She's serving now. We also made USAA for military spouses and their kids. Become a member. Get an insurance quote today. The main thing to succeed in this game is to either be me or fight me. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Sports Center AM, brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste, 96 calories. Celebrate responsibly. And Marvel Studios' new original series, WandaVision. Now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. Still ahead on Sports Center AM, what is Baltimore's approach to stopping Josh Allen? We're going to forecast also potentially playing in winter weather could slow down Lamar Jackson. Randolph and I both saw this last night, and it 
to my niece and nephew, I promise you I will not end up in a box next to grandma. I will beat this. Those are the words of Carl Anthony Towns, who has now tested positive for the coronavirus. The words of a 25-year-old man who says over the last nine months, he's lost at least seven family members to this virus. Seven, including his mother, who died in April. Towns was diagnosed before Minnesota's game against the Grizzlies. That game was then postponed because of contact tracing. And it's been a rough week in the NBA, and it continues tonight with the postponement of the game between the Pacers and the Suns. It's a contact tracing issue within the organization. They don't have the minimum players allowed to play the game. Six Wizards players have now tested positive for COVID-19, and their next two games have been postponed Sunday and Monday, both of those against the Cavs. And because of the thinning rosters, the NBA is moving toward expanding the rosters. That's according to our Adrian Wojnarowski, who says the League and Players Association are expected to finalize the details of that expansion soon. The Celtics have had their fair share of issues. Back again, playing their first game. They've had three games postponed because of COVID. Still missing Jason Tatum and Kemba Walker, but that's an injury thing. This, though, is the return of Jalen Brown. Third quarter, Celtics up 10. Brown, the ball, the shot clock winding down. Nailed it. Two of five from three, finished with 21 points. He shot 50% in his return. The Celtics are up 13. We got some taco time, not just meant for Tuesday. Celtics up 25. He's on the floor. He's in danger. Look, it was disrespectful because those Magic defenders just looked at him. And he's like, fine, look at me.